What's the hurry? What's the hurry?
Where are you, my treasure? Let's look around. <laughs> How about you let me take over? Sharp eye, but too slow. I'm Izzard. I thank you both on behalf- Ah, uh, we've been keeping a low profile. How did word get out? Hmm, Paimon won't let you have- You would be wise not to underestimate us. My gang is just outside we- However, they're not- I'm sorry to rain on your parade, but your gang won't be participating in your current plan. If you'd like to ask why, you can go see them. Or perhaps you'd prefer to join them permanently. The Knights. Hey, it's Kaya! Kaya, he wants to sp Oh, almost had it. Oh, you mean the treasure. Sorry, but there wasn't any treasure to begin with. You came all the- What? No, treasure? Did Kaya just say there isn't any treasure? Ha, <laughs> it got me good. A thief has no right to criticize the methods of the Knights of Fav- Wait. What are you? You're not gonna get me. Okay. Oh God. Whoa. What is this? I didn't. Mean <laughs> what a troublemaker. You, knight. You're not gonna watch me die, are you? Hmm. What an interesting suggestion. Fine. I I'll confess and go quietly. Please, just help me. All right then. Guess I will have to do some overtime work after all. Embarrassing. Having my life saved by a knight. Don't forget what you promised. Or that thing will be the least of your worries. Hey, is this how the Knights of Favonius treats the people they catch? <laughs> I'm just joking. All right. Let's take him back. Sir! Yes, sir! Uh, Captain, should we take these two in as well? Uh, what? <laughs> of course not. They are the ones who made this arrest possible. Without them spreading our fabricated intel, we wouldn't have been able to catch the treasure hoarders. Ah, you're a bad man for lying to me! Shame on the knights! All right, all right, stop it already. Though the treasure doesn't exist, you did want it for yourself, didn't you? Otherwise you would have informed me of your intentions, no? Just a sec. You did help me out. So you do deserve a reward. This is the triumphant harbinger of dawn that points towards victory. As its name suggests, it symbolizes light and victory. If you don't mind, I would like to present you with this harbinger of dawn as a reward. Harbinger of dawn? That's right. It suits a well-cultured and disciplined person such as yourself. Wouldn't you say, Paimon? Well, if the reward is this Harbinger of Dawn... You'd forgive me, right? I'm honored to have such an understanding friend. Yes, yes. You have my apologies for the deception. I will not use the same method twice. What a wonderful day. Now, I have to go interrogate my suspect. Please excuse me. Do come visit me at our headquarters when you have the chance.
Ash. Greetings, I am Timaeus. Alchemy, its mechanisms are magical. If we can... This must be your... That's right. Why not give it a go yourself? You'll be fine. The proceed...
All we are really doing is following the methods of the ancients as best we can. Much as one who uses a wind glider needs not understand how it was built in order to glide. The difference with alchemy is that every time I think I finally understand how it's supposed to work, something totally unexpected happens. <laughs> Unfortunately, my skills are not that advanced. There's a lot of other mysterious recipes I have to research first. Over the course of your adventures, you should come across some alchemist notes from ancient civilizations. And as your adventure rank increases, more recipes will become available to you. Why are you so obsessed with other Paimons? Do I no longer satisfy your primordial needs? <laughs> you two are a fascinating pair, I must say. Well, see you next time. May the wind bring you good fortune on your path ahead. The neighboring nation of Liyue has the most prosperous worshippers in all of them. Master. Find no second rate items at Wagner's. <laughs> Thank you. 
the wide range of ingredients you can find in Mondstadt, and it looks like it's true! No, I'm a chef! A chef on a mission to find rare and exotic ingredients from all corners of the world. My name's Xiang Ling. I'm from Liyue Harbor. of ingredients you can find in Mondstadt, and it looks like it's true! No, I'm a chef! A chef on a mission to find rare and exotic ingredients from all corners of the world! My name's Xiang Ling. I'm from Liyue Harbor. And you? Hello, my name's Paimon! Paimon! Why are you looking at me like that? What an exotic creature! Is it edible? No! For the last time, Paimon is not emergency food! You seem like good friends. I have a good friend, too, called Guba. Isn't that the name of a Liyue snack? <laughs> Both the snack and my friend have a special place in my heart. Anyway, can you do some hunting for me? There's lots of game around here that would be amazing to cook with. I can't catch anything to save my life, and I don't want to miss out. Oh, sounds like a bit of an ordeal. Don't be like that. Come on, I'll whip you up a tasty snack later. <gasps> Ooh, you had me a tasty snack. Don't worry, we're the bestest hunters ever. <laughs> don't worry about it. Your friend has already given me a response. I don't care how it's done, so long as you bring me back some raw meat. Great, then I'll leave you to it.
more like it. You can't keep up with me! Wowie! This is great! Some of it I'll shallow fry, some of it I'll deep fry with mushrooms. Ooh, and I wonder how well it goes with sine condensate. Yay! You have finally come around to my food preferences! Uh, sorry. I got all excited thinking about new recipes. As promised, a tasty snack. Go on, try it. And tell me what you think. Are we your food testers now? Oh gosh, this is delicious. Can you tell us how to make it? <laughs> sure. The only thing is I haven't written down the recipe yet. I got it! I'll make another one now so you can watch. I'm sure you'll pick it up straight away. This seems pretty hard to make. It'll take more than that to learn how to make it. And we don't have a frying pan or any condiments. Come on, it's simple. We can fry on a slab of stone and cook using some boar fat. Build a stove from rocks. Use dry grass for kindling, twigs for firewood. Sweet flowers will do for sugar. As for salt, I found a load of rock salt in a cave the other day. And there's still plenty left. <laughs> I just can't help myself when there's a chance to try something new. But I can't exactly bring my whole kitchen with me every time I leave the house, either. Give me a second while I get everything ready. Hey! What do you think? This is the boar's natural habitat. You can't hunt them here. You'll send them all running. We hunters know better than to kill the chicken to get at the egg. Oh, I get it. The freshest, best quality meat comes from free-range boars that grow up in the environment nature intended for them. If they all ran off, it would be a major blow to gastronomy. N no, to all mankind. I'm sorry. I got excited and didn't think of the impact we'd have. <sighs> you should apologize to Draft. As our leader, he always stresses the importance of respecting the rules of the hunt. I'm afraid he is very upset right now. I made a mistake, and I should go and apologize. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll cook up some more tasty snacks for you once this is over. Okay, don't worry. Paimon will remember even if you forget. Draft ought to be in Springvale. Let's go! Must be Xiang Ling. Sorry, Mr. Traff. This was all my fault. I heard the whole story. And now that you're here in person. Ooh, he's gonna let her have it. 
Please, help me promote my meat. Huh? Sorry if I was a little brash. Let me explain. Springvale has built its reputation on top quality meat products, but this reputation is so far limited to Mondstadt. When I heard that the great maestro Xiang Ling herself was in Mondstadt, I asked Alan to send you over. Maestro? Haven't you heard? She's the one behind Wan Min Restaurant, that one-of-a-kind folk restaurant in Liwe Harbor. Her unique take on cooking ingredients is behind some of the best-loved dishes in all of Liyue. They are very highly rated by travelers, too. <laughs> You're too kind. I just try to cook things that are cheap and cheerful. With a top-notch chef cooking top-notch cuisine with top-notch meat from Springvale, our reputation would spread far and wide. Hmm, I don't know. I only ever think about how to make tasty dishes. I never limit myself to specific ingredients, and I don't know the first thing about promoting anything. You use boar meat all the time anyway, surely. I can't see what the issue is. The issue is... What would you think if I added a bit of slime condensate? That's... I mean, couldn't you add something a bit more normal? There's no such thing as normal ingredients to me. You can turn anything into a delicacy if you cook it in the right way. I will not stand for having my creativity shackled by what ingredients I can and can't use. <sighs> well, since you feel so strongly about it, forget it. But it really is a pity. You know, we did come to apologize. Couldn't you be a little more flexible? It's one thing to apologize, but it's another thing entirely to change the way I approach cooking. Mmm, what's that smell? It's gorgeous! of your delicious cooking? <sighs> Sorry, I've taken all the orders I can for the next few days. The earliest I could put you down for is seven days from now. Is that okay? Wow, it must be delicious if it's that popular. Yeah, good point. Why does Draft want Zhang Ling to help when Springville already has this lady? Hmm, maybe he feels that Mondstadt cuisine can't compete with that of Tavat's biggest business hub, Luya Harbor. But I disagree. I don't think my cooking is at all inferior to anyone else's. Well then, show me what you got. <laughs> me? Sorry, but customer feedback like, oh, that tasted good, is no use to me. If I wanted feedback, I would ask a professional chef. <gasps> Hang on. Are you... Shang Ling? That's me! <gasps> it's really you! Well, I guess you do know what you're doing when it comes to cooking meat then. As it happens, I have one of today's prime cuts remaining. So tell me, how would you cook this? That depends on the ratio of fat to meat. With this cut, I would probably roast it over a hot stone with a little salt, some joyun chili, and kingsin flour. Kingsin flour? But the melted fat would make the flavor of the flowers ten times stronger than when eaten raw. It would overpower everything. I know, that's why it's a garnish. I would never marinate the meat in it. I tried it before. If you baste the petals in oil and then cook them with the right heat and duration, it gets rid of the bitterness completely and leaves you with a lovely crispy topping. Then throw in some joyun chilies grown at a high altitude where the low humidity and varying temperatures lends them a unique dry heat. The petals absorb the saltiness from the sea salt, the chili spice, and the umami of the tender freshly grilled steak while also adding a floral aftertaste. Uh, that's pure overkill. You're going all out on the trimmings and doing no justice to the meat whatsoever. Who wants to eat a roast when you can taste everything except the roast? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop arguing! <laughs> well, there's only one surefire way out of a cooking dispute. I declare a cook-off! Suits me. If you can't beat my cooking, it'll show that draft was clearly wrong about you. All right. 
But if I win, you have to use my winning dish to promote Springvale. And if you lose, you have to add my winning dish to the Wanmin menu. With a caption saying, this special addition to the Wanmin menu is generously provided by Chef Brooke of Springvale. Meet expert. Hmm. It's a deal. I'm off to get ingredients. I will see you Wait, wait! Let's try and catch up. Yeah. <sighs> 